Are you ready to see what $50 got me from a brand new contact in this business who's going to be providing me with all kinds of glass and ceramic wear? Wait until you see what's inside this box. Let's go. <music> Hello everybody, welcome back to M-Cubed. I am Brian, the Motley Mix Merchant. I just want to jump right into this. I did not do a live unboxing with this because there was so much wrapping and so many pieces inside this box. I thought it would just take up way too much time. So I thought I'd unwrap everything and I took a quick look and organized it a little bit. And now I want to show you what I picked up for $50 Canadian. That's about $40 US these days from a gentleman. It's the gentleman that I bought a box of stuff off of eBay about two or three weeks ago. And he was telling me when we were doing the pickup and the exchange on his porch, 10 feet away from each other, that he really doesn't like selling ceramics and glassware. And he does house cleanouts. And he's got another contact in Northern Ontario who does cleanouts and doesn't like selling this stuff either. Well, I love selling this stuff. I so enjoy selling ceramics and glassware. And I told him I'd take stuff off his hands. So about a week after the last box, I contacted him and said, what do you got for me? Well, he sent me a couple of pictures. And then I said, sure, I'll take that. And we agreed on a price. And then he said, if you want to top it up to say $50, I'll throw a whole bunch of other stuff in a box for you as a surprise. And I'm sure I'll make it worth your while and we'll go from there. Well, wait until you see this. This is what this gentleman sold me for $50. I, I'm flabbergasted. I messaged him today after I finally opened the box. I picked this up two days ago. I haven't looked at it until today. And when I got a look at the contents, I messaged him and said, my friend, thank you very much. So let's get started. Lots of glass, lots of ceramics, but some beautiful, beautiful pieces. Let's get to it. It's right beside me here. So excuse me if I have to look away and reach over because it's right beside me here. And I've got a table here to put it on after we take a look at it. I'll just start at the top, what I put on top and go from there. How about this for a start? Beautiful little ceramic girl. That is a mirror, obviously, showing parts of my, there's my stash. Look in the mirror. There's some of my stash up in the shelves up beside me there. See it? <laughs> Anyhow, that's uh, also a bank. She's a bank. Unfortunately, there is no stopper in the bottom, but that's okay. He's got a, the, the person he got this from at an antique store had a $15 price tag on this. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be a $20 to $25 item, but that is very, very cute. There is no, oh, there is. It's made in Japan. It's a Japanese piece. So I don't know how real, it's old, but I don't know how old or if there's a, maker that I can attribute this to, but that's cute, eh? Eh? Canadian, eh? Yeah, nice little uh, ceramic piggy bank mirror. Nice. I don't know what you just saw there when I put that facing towards the screen. So, <laughs> sorry if you were looking at yourselves there for a while. I'm going to show you this right away because it's on top and I don't want to get it banged around. This is gorgeous. It is a dark, dark purple handmade glass vase it is by Makora and Makora is from Poland other Makora pieces similar to this sell for anywhere between 50 and 100 dollars on eBay I suspect this is going to be in the 50 to 75 dollar range I will do more research but it's absolutely gorgeous pure white on the ends. these again none of these have been cleaned up so they're dirty uh, pure white on the inside, clear handles on the side. It's got an original sticker. There's another sticker that looks like it was a price sticker. I'll be able to get that off with um, probably alcohol, uh, nail polish remover. That should come off off a of glass. If not, I'll heat it up, wipe it off. But that's a gorgeous piece right there. And again, that goes for $50 to $75. I paid $50 for this entire box. This is item number two. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little excited about this. I hope you can tell. Can you tell? I, oh, man, wait till you see what's in here. That's that's probably the most expensive piece, but it's piece after piece after piece that's in a certain price range. It's unbelievable. This is cute. It is a white burlap style. I want to say burlap finish on it. You can see that it's got the ridges. It looks like burlap, doesn't it? They made it look like burlap. It's, it's porcelain. It's ceramic. It is by... Friesland of Melita, Melita, Germany. Uh, so it's a German piece. Again, nice white on the inside. Perfect, nice and clean. Beautiful piece. Um, again, all of these, $20 to $25 easily. Even, I did a little quick search. No no 
Friesland or Melita or anything like that on eBay at all. But a German pottery piece, $25 easy if it doesn't get snagged up by my stepmother who already saw it in a picture on Instagram and said she wanted it. So we'll see. We'll see if I give it to her or not. She's probably going to get it. Nice little farmer's dairy bottle. It's literally farmer's dairy. Um, let's see. Is there any markings on the bottom? No. No markings of where it was from or who made it. But milk bottle with farmer's dairy on both sides. Collectible. People love that stuff right now. 15 to $20. Easy, if not more. Again, I have not really researched much of this stuff except for maybe the the um, Makora the Makora vase. So these are all going to be some guesses if I come up with anything else. Another white vase. This one is Kaiser. This is a Kaiser piece, and it is like that. And I'd say that's a vase. It's not. A, it might be. Is that a pitcher? Because of this, is that a pitcher? No, it's got a lip there. It's not a pitcher. It's a vase um, with the wave type design on the top there. Gorgeous piece. Kaiser of Germany. Kaiser pieces, especially the white ones. They're a good 20 to $25. Easy. 20 to $25. Easy. This one's beautiful. I like this one a lot. Another white vase. You can see, I'm going to hold it closer so the light's not so bright. But isn't that a beautiful design on there with the swirl finish and the multiple designs in each of the ridges. That's a gorgeous piece. And that is Kaiser as well. A little bit of a different logo. I'm pretty sure the AK is Kaiser. I'm very sure the AK is Kaiser. So a couple of Kaiser vases and another German vase. And don't forget, I'm gonna keep saying this throughout this. I paid $50 Canadian for all of this, $40 US for everything you're going to see in today's video, total. If you hear some banging, as long as you don't hear any crashes, clicking and banging is going to be okay. <laughs> this one is also another beautiful piece. Look at that. Handmade drip glaze finish made in Belgium. Handmade in Belgium. It's got a number on it, so I might be able to find a maker for this. With the 105 slash 2 Belgium, a Google search might actually get me some matches if there is a pottery that has that specific numbering style, but that is gorgeous. Six inches tall. Um, that's again, another 20 to $25 vase, if not more, depending on the provenance and who made it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try not to gush too much, but I think I'm already past the point <laughs> of gushing too much. Sorry. Okay, let me get some, I, I did put some bubble wrap in between the layers just to make sure nothing got hurt. Okay, so this, I need to get this and this together to show you. And this is a very cute set. Again, dirty, not washed yet. Creamer and sugar set. It is signed on the side of the creamer. Giglio Nova. It is by the same company that I had trouble with in my last video, <laughs> trying to pronounce it. Baruther, I want to say Baruther, Bavaria, Germany. Does that not scream MCM? Mid-century modern, 70s, absolutely. But that's a very cool design on there, eh? Oh, again, with the A, Canadian, eh? So, yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's got a lid on the creamer, on the sugar, sorry. A beautiful piece, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Matching pair, again, 20 to $25, easy. Something included in this box is a lot of uh, candlestick holders, glass candle holders, and there's some gorgeous ones. Let me show you. Uh, okay, I'll pull this one out first. First, before the candle holders, it is a bear paperweight. That is the face of a bear there, obviously. It's about that thick. This one, they've got $5 price on it at the antiques as, as a sell-off at the antique booth that he picked it up at. But uh, yeah, $15, 10 to $15 probably for that. It's in good shape. Good little paperweight. Another paperweight. And this one's going to be interesting. I set it on numerous occasions on this channel that is something Avon or worthwhile. And here's going to be another another example of that. This is a paperweight. Here's a look at it, a paperweight. Snowflake paperweight. It's a beautiful design in the bottom. That is embossed in the bottom. Now this one they've got a $15 price tag on from before. 
because I think they know. This is either Avon, which means it's worth about $15, or it's French Crystal worth about $75 to $80. Always the way. Avon with their knockoffs. It's either French Crystal or Avon. It's really heavy. I mean, it's super, super heavy. So I think it is, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'll check by the design of the snowflake. I'm sure the design of the snowflake will be different between the Avon one and the French crystal one. So I'll do some research and figure it out. I can already say, knowing my luck, it's the Avon one. So it's still 10 to $15 for a paperweight included in a lot of glass work. These are cute. These are cute. These are, says Scandinavian, Scandinavian style melting ice candle holders. There's a pair of beautiful candle holders on the top there, but it looks like melting glass or ice cubes or glaciers, that kind of thing. Very nice. I like that a lot. Those are very, very cute. They've got a price of $22 on a clear out from an auction from an antique store. So these may be worth $25 on the eBay store. I'll see. I haven't researched them at all. But uh, cute, cute candlestick holders. Another set, similar, almost exactly the same. Candlestick holders with the rough edge uh, around the outside, like a melting glacier. That, that's the bottom. There's the bottom. That's really, really cool. These are very nice candle holders. This one, this one's got a bigger price tag than the other set does. This one's $24 um, for the icy glass candlestick holders. So yeah, I can, I can see those going for the $25 to $30 range easily. And one more set of candlesticks holders here. Tinier ones, a little bit of a smaller design, but these ones are Bohemia glass. Yeah, Bohemia glass, Czechoslovakian, with the designs on the bottom. This one says it was vintage Bohemian crystal candle holders, $12 for the pair. as a sell-off price on the antiques store. So I'm thinking if these are crystal, which they should be, if there says Bohemia crystal on the on the stickers, I'm probably looking $15 to $20 for the pair. At least. At least. What's your favorite piece so far? Just so far, what's your favorite piece? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Okay. I thought this was cute. I, I want to say that I've seen this in a recent video of either Jocelyn the Crazy Lamp Lady or Alex from Curiosity Inc. Although he doesn't deal with smaller stuff like this very much, but I don't know. It is a lidded trinket dish, basically. But it's got this, it's a fish on the top. Get close enough that it focuses on it, sort of. As you can see, it's a fish. So I, I swear I've seen it on a video recently on YouTube. I'll try and figure it out, but I'll try and research it. There's nothing on the bottom. No markings or stickers or anything like that. Obviously handmade. Uh, so, But it's cute. And again, not cleaned up. I'll have to clean that up quite a bit. But it's a cute little piece. And again, if I give you, a say, $15 to $20, that's before finding out who it's made by, anything like that. So it could be worth more, but I'm guessing $15 to $20 for that piece of the end. Right there. Okay. Got these. These are cute. And these are... Somebody's going to like these. Another set of candlestick holders. It's a matching pair. One smaller than the other, obviously. But with the oak leaves on the design, on the stems. And those are those are neat. Distre not distressed, but they look old. Like they are, they're made to look old. I think they've been painted copper. They're, they're, I think they're copper. It's got a tag on the one here. Let's see what it says. Oak just says oak leaf candlesticks. They had $14 on these. These are probably, again, $20 on the eBay store. So yeah, very, very cool. Cool stuff. I thought this was cute. Have you seen one of these for a while? Can't get the tag out of the way. These are napkin rings with a napkin ring holder. These are plastic. 
feel cool. Well, yeah. Yeah, the plastic of some kind. Uh, is there a name? Vintage Coal and Mason. Vintage Coal and Mason napkin rings. It's got a $16 price tag on these. Only one set has either sold or been listed on eBay lately, and it's listed for about $20, I think. But uh, very much, again, very vintage, very 70s, probably. It's a cute way of holding on to your four napkin rings. So yeah, nice little set there. I like that. That's cute. These ones, I'm not sure about the plastic. I mean, they're very interesting. Absolutely mid-century modern, but they're plastic. And so, I don't know, five bucks it says on the price tag there. Space Age candle holders, as is, tells me that there is a problem, and I haven't looked at it yet. Maybe there's some staining or a crack. There's a crack on that one, but I'll check it out. Again, haven't looked at it very closely, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Space Age candle holders. Very cool. Well, I've got to be careful how I take things out of this box or it's going to tip on me. Uh, if you remember, this is the gentleman that I got the big Pyrex beaker off of, the, the big, huge one with the long, skinny neck. Well, there's another one here. This one is actually worth as much, if not more, than the big, big one with the long, skinny neck. It's another, it's a 250 milliliter Pyrex cup, and it's it's worth as much as the big ones, because I don't know how to use it. Just throw some blue pop rocks in there. Never mind. <laughs> Another flower frog. This one does not have a base. The last one I got from this gentleman had a base to it, but this one does not have a base, but that just leaves it open to using it anywhere you want. But the flower frogs are going from 10 to $15. So that'll be listed for 10 to $15 on the eBay store. Got a couple of these glass insulators. One green one, one clear one. This one is made in the USA by Lynchburg. This one is made in the USA by Heming Ray, and this one is worth about $20 to $25, if I remember my research from this afternoon. This one's about $15, so a good $40 right there, just in two insulators. What do people use these for? Leave that comment below if you know. I see people buying them, and they're popular, and all. what do they use these for? Is it just a paperweight? Is it just as a decor decoration piece on a shelf? Why do people buy and why is the insulator market so hot? I don't know. I don't get that one. I just don't know, but I know people like them. So I'll sell those for sure. This is cute. Just a little throwaway piece. Got a number on the bottom that I may try to research, but tiny little ceramic piece painted orange, a little dirty. I don't see much value in that. That's probably a yard sale item. That's okay. This is cute. I was hoping there was more of these after I unwrapped this one early. It's an espresso glass, hand-painted, handmade, in Italy by the Balden, Baldelli. Whoever Baldelli is in Italy, they made this. If there had been a set of these, it probably would have been worth a good $20, $25. But there's only one, so I don't know. I'll research. It might be worth 5 to $10 if it's even worth it at all. It might be another yard sale item, but that's okay. Yard sales are good. Clearing out stuff. Got a few of these. Apothecary slash liniment bottles. These both say six ounces on the side that is facing me. Does not say anything on the bottom except a either an M or a W. I have not researched. I am not an expert on apothecary jars or these kinds of jars. So it could be an M or a W. I don't know. Uh, but they're cute. And people like these bottles for display and for use. So I'll find out what these are and who made them, I'm sure, by, it could be Watkins. Wasn't Watkins one of the, didn't they make stuff that was in bottles like this back in the day when Watkins first started out? I don't know. Maybe that's what the W is for. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll figure it out, he says. But along the same lines, some even older ones. Look at this. This is a Raleigh's liniment uh, bottle. Raleigh's apparently was a um, quack doctor type of medicine, supposed to cure all, that kind of thing. Uh, so these are for sale for about 10 to $15 a piece right now on eBay. 
And here's a question for you. If you haven't answered any of my questions so far in the comments, maybe you can answer this one. Should I leave them dirty? I think I should leave them dirty to sell them because I think people like them aged, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm going to leave them dirty to take the pictures and to sell them. And then it's just like my when I have uh, silver plated pieces, like I did in the last video, I leave them tarnished so that the buyer can decide. I'm going to leave these dirty so the buyer can decide whether he wants to clean them or not. And there's one more of those bottles. This one's got a lid. I don't know if I want to take the lid off and smell what was inside there. So I uh, will definitely leave this one dirty. But yeah, these all these bottles, that's got a logo on the bottom. And I don't know. I think the D inside of the diamond definitely designates a certain maker. And I'll have to look that up. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I remember that there is a glass maker with the D inside of the diamond. So we'll figure it out. But yeah, four apothecary slash liniment type jars that all worth 10 to $15 each. If you want to talk about mid-century modern 70s, look at this creamer and sugar. Aren't they something? This one looks like a spaceship. The gray thing on top is the lid. There's the lid. <laughs> I think that is so cool. Creamer and sugar. It's got the geometric designs on the sides. That is very, very cool. I like that one a lot. It is uh, Scherzer of Bavaria, Germany. So I'm saying 70s as well. And that's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And again, everything that he's given me, not a chip, not a crack, not a discoloration, unless it's intentional or unless it's super, super old, like these apothecary jars, uh, bottles. It, it's amazing, amazing stuff that this gentleman is giving me, selling me. Again, he's not giving it to me. I'm buying it, but at a great, great, great price. Um, so, yeah, it's, and, you know, this is all in super, super great condition. Uh, some plates. Going to go through the plates quickly. That's cute. That is a fish motif plate. It's finished with stamped fish on it. And it is also signed on the back by M. Girati, looks like. G-E-R-A-G-H-T-Y, maybe. I think that's the way that is that says or v gavati or gavati one of the two Whew, my heart just jumped i thought the whole box was going but it's not um they've got a 12 dollar price tag on that one i'm thinking yeah 15 dollars for a nice plate like that very cute oh this is cute look at this this is a sunset plate and finished obviously it's hand signed i'm thinking it's signed that way E.H., whoever E.H. was, and made that with the beautiful, beautiful glaze on it, and the stoneware. As you can see, it's unfinished on the very middle of the back. It's only finished on the top and around the edges. Uh, they've got a $12 price tag on this from the antique store or from the clear out. Um, I'm thinking $15. That's a beautiful little trinket dish, serving dish, whatever kind of plate you want to make it. This is cute seashell shape it is wedgwood the wedgwood not wedgwood and company it is the wedgwood uh clementine pattern bone china made in england it's got a number on it so obviously it goes with a certain kind of uh, dinnerware but it i what is that is that a trinket dish or is it a soap dish you would think with the seashell design and i that's a soap dish isn't it that's it's got the ridges to take care of the soap on the bottom. That's a soap dish, but it's Wedgwood. I thought that was very cool when I saw the name on the back. I like Wedgwood stuff, if you remember. This is very, very cute. Little trinket plate, little plate for your keys or your change or whatever. It is some of the music from Vivaldi's Four Seasons. And it is made by Millevue of France. Creation Clary of Paris. Pill, I can't read that. I, my eyes aren't good enough right now. But it's from France. It's French. And that's probably why it's in French on the top. So that's a cute little piece. I'm sure a musician, a musician will love that. So that's another $15. A copper souvenir from Chile. Copper plate. With a couple of beads in there. That's a bird, I'm thinking. Yes, it's definitely a bird. In the, in the design copper plate hanging plate it's got the peg on the, the hook on the back 
it's got five dollars on this so yeah and, and you know what all these fifteen dollars they add up seven fifteen dollars is a hundred plus dollars so it's pretty cool this was cool so it's wrapped separately and it took me a second to figure out that they were supposed to go together it was wrapped in two different pieces like this but when you put it together it is a copper ashtray with a glass insert here's the back here's the side it's got a beautiful piece of leather not no that's not real leather pleather around the outside as you can see and then inside it's got the dish like that which is i would say an ashtray because of the ridges you can see the ridges on it right there i'm having trouble lining up i keep forgetting the camera's in the middle i don't know weird day today but that, that's cool that's another piece that screams 70s at me 60s even maybe uh so we'll see do some research on that i'm thinking 15 to 20 dollars for that one because of the copper and the ashtray and the two pieces i'm thinking it's more 15 to 20 maybe even 25 i don't know i don't know okay one more plate we'll get to the last two big things this is a beautiful big plate made in bavaria germany it has got a bird on it some kind of bird I have no idea <laughs> as i said i am not a bird expert i'm not even a bird novice i have no clue is that a peacock and a peahen maybe this is a definitely one that's got a lot of color and one that doesn't have a lot of color i don't know so i'll, I'll find it out but beautiful that's a beautiful as the edges are reticulated that is the word you use for when you can see through the cutout pieces of metal or porcelain a reticulated edge and it's a very nice piece actually very very cute uh, it's got a little bit of scrape to the design on the front but nothing too major so still probably a 10 to 15 dollars depending again depending on research and finding out who made it and what their stuff is worth it could be worth more who knows but i'm thinking 15 dollars or so for that one there is this it was right in the top of the box and First, I looked at it and like, okay, it's dirty, to say the least. <laughs> it is a great, big, huge carafe. Look at the size of this thing. This is a good, here's my measuring tape. I'm going to grab my measuring tape right live on this video. Let's see. It's a foot. It is a 12-inch carafe. It's got the smoked etched, it's etched, etched bottom super super dirty don't worry about how dirty it is but isn't that just a gorgeous big big piece that would be beautiful on a very fancy bar setup or anything like that it says handmade quality with a picture of a glass blower so i'll have to find out if that picture of the glass blower is the maker's mark for a specific company but that is gorgeous gorgeous piece and again everything he's given me is in great shape this is just dusty when I clean out the dust off of this thing, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous piece of glass. And I can't wait to get at it and figure it out. And that's, as I've always said, I love the hunt of finding out information about items when I get them, if I don't already know. And that glass carafe is one piece that I am definitely going to be researching to try my best to find out who made it and how much it's worth. But that's, again, I'm so glad that I'm confident in my shipping abilities because a 12 inch thin glass craft like that would be a bugger to ship. But I would obviously pad it really, 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 really well with all of the bubble wrap that I received from my Facebook marketplace pickups a month ago. So I'm, I'm, I can't wait to find out more about that craft. Last but not least, I told you it was going to be a while. This is the last piece but don't go away before i after we talk about it another decanter beautiful beautiful smoky gray if i'm a gray greenish greenish blue no it's gray it's like a grayish color to the glass with beautiful gold detailing huge huge stopper coming off there that's solid like that's solid that stopper little bit of wear on the gold around the top but that's to be expected from something that is over 50 years old from the 1970s maybe yeah 70s 45 years old mid 70s for this huge 
huge, foot tall, beautiful decanter. I know there are glasses that came with this as well, which would improve the price greatly, but no glasses included. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Somebody maybe has the glasses and broke their carafe or their decanter. So they can have this decanter to replace the one they broke. Put it with their beautiful, beautiful stuff. And it is, it's got to be Czechoslovakian. Got to be bohemian glass. And I'll do a little bit of research and see if I can find the same one or something super, super similar. And that one's probably a good $25 item as well. So, yeah. 20 to $25 to $15 on maybe a third of them. A couple that will be worth a little bit more. My $50 Canadian, there is a total of 30 items here that are sellable. And I'm talking about together, like the candlestick holders are together as one item. So I've got 30, let's put it this way, I'm going to make 30 listings out of the stuff that came out of this box for $50 Canadian. So that's about $1.65 per item, per listing is my cost. And I'm thinking I have somewhere in the neighborhood of $500 worth of stuff here, maybe 600. Once you average in the bigger pieces as well, probably $600 worth of stuff. That's a pretty good return. That's over 10 times return on your investment. I'll take that any day, uh, especially when you're investing larger numbers because then the investment return is larger as well. So I'm super, super happy. I'm going to be keeping in touch with this gentleman. Um, we've already established a pretty good rapport as far as the kind of stuff that he likes to get rid of and the kind of stuff that I like to sell. Um, and so I think this is going to be a really, really good, mutually beneficial relationship between this gentleman and I. And he's up in Toronto. So uh, when I go up and make a shipping run up in Toronto, I find out if he's got another box for me and I e-transfer him the money and then I pick it up off of his front porch. So it's great. That is my latest haul. I will have another video for you very shortly this week talking about a very small haul, small in size, but large in pieces. Stay tuned for that one. I'll tease you with that. Large in number of pieces, but small in size. That's coming up on the next video. As for this, I got to put this all back in the box and start doing some cleaning and listing and picture taking. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Thanks for dropping by. I will see you again very soon, everybody. Stay well, stay safe, so I can see you again right here on M-Cubed. Bye for now. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,